dead draw gaming like no one ever was. Hello, hello, welcome back for the finals of the Madison Regional Championships. Uh, 14 rounds in the bag, a top eight, a top four, and we've narrowed it down to two. Buzz Lycanroc in the hands of both of these players. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be riveting. It's gonna be hard hitting for sure. It's gonna be very quick. <laughs> if, you, if you know anything from the last match you just watched, it was a very quick uh, 40 minute match there. Um, both these decks are very similar. Uh, actually, a couple little differences here. You know, Igor's favoring that uh, baby Buzzwell version, mm -hmm. whereas Will is the traditional version. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out. Before we get into the deep dive, we do want to throw a big shout out to our sponsor, thedarkpatch.com. Um, it has a great selection of coaches for players of all skill levels uh, and ages to get to their next level, thedarkpatch.com slash coaching. Uh, learn from the best, become the best, like the two guys in the finals of this regional to close out the 2018 North American, well, we'll, we'll say United States uh, regional circuit. <laughs> you know, I'm very excited to actually see his matchup. You know, I know we see a lot of buzz rock today, but we haven't seen many of new buzz versus old buzz. Yep. So uh, I'm very curious how these players are going to take about this matchup. And when you say new buzz versus old buzz, what exactly do you mean, Jeff? The, the, the babies. You know, we got, we got the it's heavy, it's heavy babies so, you know, of the, of the, from the Forbidden Light set versus, you know, three, four buzz wolves in the deck and just like in rocks, uh, where, where, which is kind of what Will is piling in here. So we are getting started here. Igor drawing at seven here. I spoke real quickly with uh, Will the Thrill. Willie the kid uh, before the match, um, he's well aware of Igor's baby buzz wolves, and uh, he he pretty much just said, "I have to prioritize taking one prize knockout first, so I can skip that sledgehammer turn uh, okay. because of all the damage modifiers. It builds up quick, and you do not want to allow them to uh, to use a sledgehammer to take a knockout on a mm -hmm. on a big uh, big Pokemon." No little thing to note here also is that these numbers can add up with Igor playing both the Diancie and the Red Rock EX. Uh, be able to have that plus 30 at his will at any time. That is something we saw uh, Caleb Gedimer use to uh, some success in mm -hmm. uh, round 10 to his admission. Maybe not playing the best Pokemon out there, uh, but uh, found a way to win mm -hmm. and uh, get himself uh, to a nice result today. Igor desperately trying to find a basic, got one. Well, it was a Tapu Lele, unfortunately, too. Uh, so two mulligans going over to Will. Um, and here we are, underway. Oh, maybe not. We are, we <laughs> are ready when they are. Will is itching, ready to go, shaking hands. Deancey on one hand, Tapu Lele on the other. Igor can't be excited about that. His only copy of Tapu Lele finds its way as his active. Uh, um, Will going to be trying to stop Igor from winning his third regional championship this season. Just this season. And uh, Igor, Igor trying to cement his legacy even more so than it already is by taking down the youngster, the young gun, Willie the Kid. <laughs> Willie the Kid. Uh, Brooklyn Hill here, and we would know for this matchup, we got Ultra Ball fodder for Igor now. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's almost like those easy discards when you have a Zorark, right? Uh, that extra Bridget. Uh, trade, baby. So <laughs> we got uh, Ultra Ball is going to be pitching Brooklyn Hills all over the place. Uh, Will getting himself a Buzzwool, going to set himself up an attacker, smashing his deck into the dice. No remorse for the setup here. He's trying to establish. I wouldn't be surprised if when uh, Will promotes this Buzzwool, if he puts it on Igor's mat. To, esta to establish a level of dominance. <laughs> I mean, he, he's, he's flying through right now. I believe there's another Max Lixer he's going to attack with right now. Also, up oh, nope. Ops not to use it. Ending away to hand. Uh, but two energy. <laughs> Real quick, just yeah. like that. Uh, it's going to put the screws to Igor really quick to find something. And uh, worst case scenario... Uh, Will can use, doesn't even have to use Absorption if he doesn't want to. Maybe can uh, plan to use a, a Dangerous Rogue GX. He can just Knuckle Impact into that Lele for yep. a knockout next turn, providing mm -hmm. an energy and a way to get into the into that, we'll say, into the thick of it. He's getting everything right now. He has the Rock Ruff. I was going to say, like, one unique thing with this kind of Buzz Rock Mirrors is being able to get an energy or the Rock Ruff down early. You get to have an accident up with Thirsty Eyes at any point in the game. I th we're seeing uh, kind of Will's strategy that he's employed all day, which is running hot. <laughs> <laughs> Igor over here pitching a beast ring with an ultra ball. Brooklyn Hill, as, we, as we mentioned. Brooklyn hitting the bin. There's only one hill of the Brooklyn variety that's going to be hitting the board today, and that's Will turn one, and we're moving on. <laughs> Igor doing a dig, taking some counts, wondering, uh, okay, that was a heck of a start from the from the kid, from Will the yep. Thrill. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> rock rough. As one of potentially one of the greatest uh, players of all time, he's going to ultra ball for a rock rough. Bench a baby Buzz with a choice band, I think, yep. and uh, Sycamore. Sycamore Guzmo way. Yeah, we're just, you know, he's digging here for the energy here. And honestly, I'll put the first energy. 
ah, it has to be on the buzz. You can't put it on the rock roof because with him already having the rock roof of bench to bloodthirsty eye it up, it's kind of a liability when you want to set up for dangerous rogue. He would need to find um, a way. Uh, you know, an easy Guzma would take the the knockout on the rock roof with the DNC and the active. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that would be on bench, providing that plus twenty, so that's seventy on the nose. Being able to put a little damage um, onto baby Buzzwell Igor. A lot of decisions to be made here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think he's trying to figure out if, if it's safe enough to put this uh, energy on a rock roof. He's trying to get a good read from Will here. Uh, but Will's cold as ice right now. He had a, that, you know, blasted start right there, and uh, Igor's trying to capitalize on it on Will, his own. Uh, Will is looking at him and goes, That's cool, bro, but look at all these. I got it. <laughs> and he's like, I got it. I got it natural. Got it set up. Um, Igor prioritizing getting that Octillery online ASAP um, because he's going to need to see a critical uh, mass of cards. So he here, and he decide he opts to put that. You know what we're trying to decide what he's going to do here. Uh, he does put the energy on the rock roof. Think he can play safe here. He doesn't feel he has a Guzma, um, and we'll see here if he does. Uh, draw step for Will Sycamore Brooklet using it as we see one dead in hand that's going to get eaten up by that mm -hmm. Sycamore. Yep, and we're going to see a Buzzle GX come down here. Uh, and he's, he's, he's locked and loaded. <laughs> Only thing is misses a few more energies spread across here, but this is turn two, guys. Yeah, turn, <laughs> turn, turn, turn two. two. Uh, if he gets, uh, you know, Max Elixir off this Sycamore, mm -hmm. uh, an energy attachment, all he's looking for now is a way to retreat. Uh, I will venture to say that uh, this game is not going to go uh, the full 75 minutes. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> it's a quick churn and burn here uh, from these two players. Seven off the top, uh, a couple energy in there. Is Will going to prioritize uh, maybe building up another Buzzwool? Um, interesting to see. What do you think he's going to do here, Jeff? Uh, see, there's, he's probably going to get Octillery. Let's go ahead and get the Octillery right now. Um, and then you know, see what he gets off his, his Abyssal Hand. Uh, but from here, though, unless he hits a, doesn't hit a, uh, hits a Flowstone, uh, he's, he's got this pass, but attach energy to the Rock Ruff also. Um, you got to put the pressure on Igor to, uh, and while he has Rock Ruff or Danger Rogue. Will could do the same. So Will kept an energy in his hand here, uh, going to uh, attach it maybe to Abyssal Hand for uh, the most amount of cards possible and be able to retreat. Uh, maybe take a big and early knockout on a GX Pokemon. So he's going for it. He's, he's, he's hoping that he's going to attach his energy. Oh, where's he going with it? He's going with the Buzzwell, and he's going to try to help. Which is, which is great. Spreading out his, uh, his resources. Guzma and basic fighting. Not going to get there. No flow stones. Uh, which actually is super interesting. If Igor has Lycanroc GX and another yeah. attachment, uh, yeah. he's coming uh, yeah. right back with the Dangerous Rogue. Uh. Uh, this is going to be big. This is a, this is he a pretty heavy energy. tempo swim. He uh, has energy. We know that 100% here, but I think he's going to just go through, his, go through the motions here, uh, order operations, get everything he needs, and take this Buzzwool out. This is a big tempo swing for Igor. Um, first turn, maybe not exactly how he drew it up. Will missing that critical float stone to be able to retreat out of the active, and uh, Lycanroc GX ready to rogue quite dangerously. <laughs> I have no comment there <laughs> other than so we're going to abyssal hand here for a clean five almost. Words were said and things are going to be done. That's that's where we are, We're in Jeff. the finals, gentlemen, we're and uh, <laughs> we're ranting off here. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, he did have the energy here. We are 100% going to see this dangerous rogue um, and then abyssal hand for the four. Uh, we saw a choice band, couple fighting in there. Elixir. You know, Igor didn't have much, you know, too much luck in games two or three with his elixirs last time, so maybe he, had, he may be holding off his elixirs or, uh, you know, we're curious what he's going to do here. Does he want to immediately get this buzzle set up? Is he hoping he hits a, a out to get another buzzle GX? Uh, nope, goes right into James Dangerous Rogue. Yep, I like it. Uh, take your two prizes. Uh, okay, here we go. Beast Ring territory now, but Igor knows that Will did pitch a Beast Ring uh, on his first turn in that Sycamore, and he only plays three copies. Uh, maybe Igor doesn't have an exact idea of the count. However, Igor is familiar with this deck and its iterations. Mm -hmm. Probably knows that there's only two more Beast Rings available to Will between his prizes and his deck. And now just the ones he did have one in the hand. Uh, so we want to do uh, either Absorption or Knuckle, knuckle Impact at this point. Uh, you can uh, do either. We, no, we would do we would do absorption uh, set up for the knuckle, knuckle impact, impact next turn because it has a strong energy, so maybe you can pick off the lele. Um, 
pressure literally any Pokemon that yep. Igor puts down. Um, with the Deancey, with the strong energy, he's even taken a knockout on a, another Buzzwole. So Absorption GX seems and, like and it would be the reason I question that also because he did attach uh, Fighting Energy to the Lycan Rock. So I don't know if he's trying to set up for Danish Rook also later on. Or should you just go ahead and do the absorption? Um, I think uh, I think setting up the absorption now and giving yourself an opportunity to uh, claw slash or what have you later. Mm-hmm. Um, I think absorption is the right call to take two quick prizes, uh, kind of uh, in retaliation. Igor essentially, by doing the dangerous rogue, said, "Okay, you've got to have one of your two beast rings, yep. uh, or else I'm going to run away with this one." Yeah, 100% makes sense. And if, if you look, these these Borsies look are almost mirrored, uh, minus that Igor doesn't have a backup attacker just set up yet, but uh, he's already hitting two prizes here, so I guess it kind of evens out. Yep. So Will using Brooklet Hill and. Uh, he, he's not really caring what fighting Pokemon are in there. He's counting basics because uh, he got himself a beast, uh, beast energy. Or not a beast energy, beast ring. Um, yeah, you, you, want, you want to double check before wasting that beast energy. Make sure you're optimizing that fully. Does he play any super rod also to recover energy? He does. He does have the one super rod. If he felt that you know, he got rid of a couple early, he can always bring those right back. <clears throat> so interesting to see that uh, Will didn't. Uh, use his beast ring on that turn on, well, uh, on the baby buzzwall. He didn't use the beast ring and he didn't absorb the GX. He, uh, he used Knuckle Impact. We didn't see the GX marker flip over there. So it could be to what we were like trying to say earlier. Maybe he's trying to see that dangerous rogue. He wants to pressure Igor to not bench his main Pokemon. Uh, a couple different things there. If he he does have a Guzman in hand, I believe when he flicked through, uh, flicked through his cards, absorption yep. still taking a knockout on anything yep. on Igor's side. So he does have that open and uh, pretty well set up for a single energy attachment, uh, as you mm-hmm. mentioned that dangerous rogue GX. So uh, will keeping himself uh, flexible, pliable a little bit, a little malleable, and giving himself some options to take a retaliate, a retaliate. Can't can't say words if you don't know how to pronounce them. Yes, those so, words. Can, so to take a return knockout. There let's use go. let's use return. <laughs> Let's use return because the other R word I couldn't figure out. N, here we go. N coming out here for Igor. Going to put them both to four prizes. Luckily, they both have their octillaries down, ready to go. Yeah, the, um, these so. guys are end proof. Uh, <laughs> and uh, sorry, I'm over here looking at Travis trying to get struggle to get out of the booth. So uh. <laughs> uh, Travis waves us goodbye, blows a kiss to the chat, gets lost in the curtains. Um, <laughs> And that's about three minutes worth of curtain work over there by Travis. Let's get back <laughs> to the action here, Jeff. Give the people what they want to see. Beast Energy coming down. That's the, beast Energy is so powerful with, with this deck right here. I mean, you got the Diancy, you got the Beast Energy, so many damage modifiers here. Uh, and yes, Will Manthew was at the four prizes, this is so exactly Sledgehammer is just slu- you know, thrown away at all these Pokemon right and now. And this is exactly what Will mentioned to me before the match started, is like I, I have to try and get that single prize knockout first to mm-hmm. skip the sledgehammer turn because it can be so uh, so damning, it, honestly, yep. to his board state if he doesn't. And here you see Igor, uh, beast energy, steps up, winds up, big sledgehammer, yeah. takes a knockout on a GX Pokemon. And it's so crucial because, I mean, uh, unless uh, Mantle takes a, another prize here soon, which he might have to be forced to do Dangerous Rogue on his Buzzwell, which is not a good position. No, it's not a good position at all. At all, Jeff. Um, and if he does take it, guess whose uh, beast rings are still live? <laughs> yep, exactly. You can see a, a you know, sw- swing around or even just go right to Knuckle Impact. <clears throat> Will, taking a little inventory of his deck here uh, after that Max Elixir. Uh, seeing what he can cobble together, I'd be very hard pressed to say that he's excited to Dangerous Rogue. Uh, a baby buzz right yeah, here. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to decide right now is if he wants to do Dangerous Rogue or maybe he can find a way to retreat, but nope, he's going right into Dangerous Rogue and for, like, fortunately wasting a GS attack on a 90X Pokemon. He licks her off the top, hits it on the sixth card, and he has the Beast Ring in hand. So right now he's at 180, so we do need a strong energy or a choice band to uh, to knock out this Lycanroc unless he's trying, he's aiming for something on the bench, which... Brooklet. Uh, uh, here comes Regirock. Nope. Didn't didn't grab it. Re- Regirock still saying tucked away in the deck. Igor wants to use that last spot maybe for another attacker. Um, another hit off that. Um, when he did his Brooklet search, uh, you know he was counting the amount of uh, basics in there. He had at least two. You want to make sure to play the elixir before the beast ring get everything. So Igor just flexing out, uh, showing how strong uh, these buzzwolves actually are, and his mid game is exactly how he drew it up. Oh man. This is <laughs> this is not looking good right now for Will. 
Choice band too. Yeah, yeah, Choice Will knows. He's like, I, I'm, I've been playing this matchup all day, and that was haymakers, haymakers, uh, just going back and forth between That's Will and Igor. Uh, Will having that huge setup at the beginning misses the float zone on a second turn to take a big knockout, and uh, that just gives uh, Igor that time to use the uh, roguing as dangerous as humanly possible for two prizes yep. and uh, really putting the screws to Will. Yeah, uh, Igor's flying through that, the, the matchup there, and this game only took 13 minutes. Uh, so going through how aggro this matchup is, and it's a big, it's a big, it's a big slugfest uh, on both ends. Willie the Kid not going to be late for dinner tonight, Mama, so uh, get, get cooking. We're finishing this one. Whether he comes down with a W or an L, it doesn't matter. He's going to make it in time. Honestly, I think that big turning point was uh, when he went to the Bloodthirsty Eyes on the Rock Riffon bench and just missing it. Yep. Uh, I think that was a the huge turning point right there. So uh, it, it, you got to take the risk sometimes. You're in the finals. You're in for the money. And you're already here. You got to do the big plays to get the big outcomes. Risking it for the proverbial biscuit. Here we go. Drawing seven each. Uh, Will does find himself a Remoraid. Uh, Buzzwool. I like Will's hand. Uh, beast energy. It's just always nice to get yeah. that turn one. Guzma oh, also. This is going to be his turn to... Um, be able to hit into a single prize mm -hmm. Pokemon and be able to skip the Sledgehammer turn, which was massive. Mm -hmm. A single Beast Energy attachment, Choice Ban, uh, and a, Igor came in. We're going to see in a Rock Ruff here 100%. Uh, after he does his inventory here, like, like you state, but, um, you know, Rock Ruff here, just, just the general setup of Buzzle decks, you know? Two Buzzes, Rim Raid, Rock Ruff, we're good to go. Yep. Uh, as you off. said, Rock Ruff comes down uh, and a pass. I mean, he hundred percent passed there. Just to be, I mean, obviously nothing else to do. But he's, he has Octillery in hand. Uh, he had a Guzma, but nothing really to go up there. And you know, he's just holding. He's just holding on to his cards. Guzma Octillery. <clears throat> he's looking for a really strong next turn. Igor now looks at his hand and goes, "All right, Brooklyn first. So if Igor happens to go for his Rock Ruff here, it's, it's going to get taken out immediately. Uh, if if uh, Womanthor grabs the Ancy, which I think he's going to go for. Um, takes it out right away, taking that dangerous rogue option away from Igor. Because unlike um, Will Mantho, Igor's one playing a 1 1 line. So right now, Will's hand is Octillery and Guzma, so he'll still need a pivot. Yeah. He, he, he can Brooklyn Hill for the Dancy and now put that 70 down on the. or 80 exactly because of base energy on the Rock Ruff for the KO. That's assuming he can pivot back into it. Right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I missed your point there. So Igor actually going Dancy Floatstone, um, no Rock Ruff coming down. Maybe Igor knows that that's a concern. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going seventy on the buzz. Does he have another play to put down? A baby buzz in hand. Igor thinking about it. Yeah, I wonder what his reason for not placing it down. Uh, I guess I guess the reason being is bringing is bringing up a, an option with no energy, and if, so uh, I don't know. I mean, but he ended up playing it down um, anyway, and I, you know. Setting it up here, we're going to see the 30, 50, 70. Clean, clean money on the buzzwool. Yep. Uh, Igor finally announcing the sledgehammer attack. Not powered up. Um, Max Elixir off the top. Not a bad draw. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be able to get that out of his hand before committing to playing um, a support of this turn. Yep. Hopefully he can hit a float stone and maybe do a Guzma play if he's so uh, inclined. Yep. Um, or get, get a draw supporter going. Yeah, and you know that's that's seventy that, that, that he that Igor put down in Will Mantha does a couple of different interesting math. You know, uh, maybe Igor gets a spot where he can get to that swing around one strong energy plus the NC is the exact one twenty for the K one buzz. So um, you know those little numbers there go a long way. Yep. So uh, Will grabbing uh, Buzzwool GX off the Brooklyn Hill uh, after the Max Elixir, which is interesting. Um, whether he wanted to Max Elixir to it or not, you always got to say, um, hey. Increase my odds. Increase my odds. Increase my odds. Mm -hmm. um, it's a d it, we're, we're deep in the day. It's been a long tournament, and uh, you know maybe just a, a little miscues here uh, will not being punished though. We see Beast Energy, Beast Ring. Uh, don't see the second card. Guzma still in mm -hmm. hand. A uh, couple fighting. So um, I did see the like around G exit his hand, and I want to be held on to it. I mean, obviously for a later play, but an option there could have been to bring in the buzz on bench with no energy and kind of slow down Igor's damage output. output. Yep. Rock Ruff coming down for Igor. Um, might get punished off this um, uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes because mm -hmm. um, he can take a KO, keep pressuring something else. Okay. Um, Obviously, you know, being a stage one, it does need a turn for setup. And yeah. Igor committing the energy there uh, makes it even better for so Will. So all, all Will is missing now is just the Diancy uh, to 
take it to the 80, 80 HP, 80 damage he needs to do, and then he can drop a liking rock for both the eyes. Yep. We haven't seen uh, in his Brooklyn Hill if he does have DNC or not. However, he does have access to it if it's in his 60. Uh, if it's not in his price, it's through the Brooklyn Hill. Mm -hmm. A couple options here. I mean, I see you with two Guzma. That might be a beast ring and two energy. Um, but we're looking for the Diancy here. Uh, and, yep, there it is right there. there is. Yep. We're going to see the Bloodthirsty Eyes on his Rock Ruffs, you know, taking away that Dangerous Rogue option on the Ebro side. Um, but uh, with that comes him losing the Buzzle currently in the active spot. Yep. Uh, which this activates the beast ring in his hand. So I think he's, I think he's accepting that. I'd rather get rid of his Rock Ruff to set up on Borsi later on. Yep. Uh, we've seen Will, uh, first game, really leaning on that Dangerous Rogue as opposed to maybe um, Absorption. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see him Abyssal for one. Strong energy off the top. Uh, there's worse cards. Um, okay. I, 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 missed a, I missed the Igor promote when he Bloodthirsty Eyes, so I was concerned that yep. maybe Will didn't announce it. But uh, we're all good here. Everything's uh, on the... On the level, Super Rod throwing back in Buzzwool, um, so, um, Buzzwool, Rockruff, and Basic Fighting. Yeah, I, I like where Will put the, the, the damage at for the 30 because you know now that uh, Buzzwool on the bench is just a jet punch on the bench, even the from a knockout, knockout away now, uh, it's within that 30 threshold there. Uh, maybe a strong energy to the active Buzzwool could bring up the um, Buzzwool on the bench for three damage and take a double knockout, uh, but it's just opening more options for Will. Mm -hmm. Uh, the buzz on the bench with that 90 damage is actually uh, 10 short. 10, is it 130? Yes, 130. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will, where's my loss zone? Who cares? <laughs> Throw it. Um, I can appreciate Will's willingness to encroach onto Igor's play space, uh, mm -hmm. asserting himself dominance not only uh, within playing <laughs> the game, but also where he is on the physical table. <laughs> It's gonna Brooklyn Hill move those dice. Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. Will the thrill? Uh, what's he digging for here? Uh, not sure here. Uh, he, oh, so he does play a two-two like a rock line that we mentioned earlier. So bloodthirsty eyes in the way. You know, and probably gonna go out there with rock rough, hopefully before it evolves to like rock. Um, he still has a dangerous rogue jet, uh, but I think he's also slowing himself down, bringing a Diancy up because I didn't see a float stone. Uh, so he's kind of just going through the motions to see what he could put himself in position for later on. Mm -hmm. Guzma, Max Elixir, going to go with Max Elixir first. Uh, unfortunate fail there. Um, going to be string. I did see quite a few basics in his hand, though. He does play uh, nine, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, sometimes can be a little bit on the skimpy side. If you hit too many elixirs early, your mm -hmm. hand gets a little clogged up with them. Uh, sometimes you just can't get those out on the board. However, B string showing how powerful it is. Uh, two basics hitting the board for Will right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think the reason he brought the Giantsy up also, he, we, we, as we're seeing the Guzmas now, but what's he going to bring up if that's the option here? Is he going right after the Rock Rough? Which, uh, curious what's going to be the play here. So Igor's at the four prize, so he's able to do a sledgehammer on, on anything over there and knocks out there. He's going to decide to knock out the Rock Rough. Yep. Uh, sledgehammer. Taking a single prize, which Will mentioned is key to skip the mm -hmm. counter sledgehammer turn. So we are getting it done here. A uh, quick knockout for Will. Um, yeah, I think Will's actually in a good spot to you know take this game two right now. He's got damage on both buzzes on the bench, uh, just alone to Ancy. Uh, but we are in beast freak mode now. Yeah, I actually, uh, to absolutely 0% my credit, I misspoke. That's actually the second single prize attacker that Will took, targeting down those rock roughs. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe willing to put himself in that sledgehammer range to avoid the potential of a dangerous yep. rogue GX, which uh, threatens uh, definitely all his uh, yeah. Pokemon with a full bench. So Igor does offer the um, Buzzle here, Beast Ring activated uh, in... I, I would, it would I mean, be unfortunate to use Absorption GX on a, on a Buzzwell, so I'm assuming that Ivor does have a Guzma in hand to uh, kind of clap back to the previous attack. <laughs> exactly. Uh, as, you know, you definitely don't want to be using your GX attack on... Uh, Yep. On, on a basic, you want to be, or on a single prize, you want to be taking Hold two prizes. So, the equipment is 30, 90, 110, 130, plus that 140, and then a Diancy 160. Or what's that off? 30, oh, so it was Sledgehammer, right? 39, so 120, 140, 160 plus the 30. Yeah, that's exactly 190 90. on the nose. That's a, that's a heck of a Sledgehammer right there. <laughs> that bus wall is swole. Yep, yeah, so Igor committing the strong to that and. 
you know, Buzzwool is sitting there on the bench ready to go. Um, yeah. Okay, so even if the Buzzwool comes down here, Igor isn't just completely out of it. He can still put on heavy pressure with um, the babies. With the baby, yeah. Now that his 30 damage modifier is just chilling there, um, you, you can start sw doing swing arounds. Yeah, so swing around. Let's say swing around two heads, right? 140. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's the math he's doing. 140, 180, plus 30, 210. Ooh. With, and that's what with what two heads? Oh, actually, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? 80, 100, 120. Did he just get there? So, plus 30, 150, strong choice band. And, oh, that's 210. That's 210. Oh That's man! That's two ten. That Decent choice man for the two. Nuts. We didn't even see that. <laughs> Just Good drops Lord. it on the so, table. So what? What happened there? Uh, swing around eighty. S swing around eighty. Strong energy one hundred. Strong energy one twenty. Beast energy one fifty. Choice, choice band, band one eighty. Thirty on the Deancy Reggie Rock two ten. Lightning fast finals. Will the kid? Come on! That was a 21 minute final. <laughs> We're going home early, folks. <laughs> uh, un unfortunately for Will, he will make it to dinner on time, but it's without the big uh, W and that sexy it's championship plaque. Igor, on the other hand, proving that although his diminutive frame, he carries the buzz hole, two, buzzwolves real well, three. flexing those muscles. Three regional championship wins for Igor this season, and uh, a hell of a way to punctuate your uh, oh, a, a season goodness. for him. Well, we thought he was out of it. He <laughs> dropped the hammer, no pun intended, <laughs> with the beast energy and choice band. Strong, strong beast choice band. Shrug. He was like, uh. He, he extends the hand and Will's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's Hold going on, on let here? Let me do my quick maths. <laughs> and let me quick maths. Uh, Will the thrill. Will, Willie the kid. One, two, da, 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 210. Holy smokes. That is 10 more than 200. Wrap it up. Put a bow on it. Madison Regionals completed. 130. 90X. 210 damage. The deck is insane. These Buzz Rock decks are insane. What? I'm throwing I'm throwing a ball of paper to the crowd out there. There's not a soul, but I just I just feel like I have to do something. What are these Forbidden Light cards doing to us? They they, I, they really wanted to get rid of Zorark. I think they overdid it. Yeah. You know, you are cooking your steak, you kind of forget about it, and, you, and it burns a little bit. They, they, they made that steak well done with these fighting cards. Look, no, that that's not even burning your steak. That's what we call. Pittsburgh style in the Midwest, you char that outside and it is raw in the middle because that's what just happened. A savaging in the championship finals, 21 minutes. We are going to get a couple minutes of ads in. We're going to grab Igor. We're going to drag his, uh, drag his butt back in the booth and we're going to talk to him a little bit about that, especially that silly last turn. And then we're going to cut you all loose for a wonderful stream. Stay tuned. Igor coming in hot. Welcome back, everybody. We are here with our <laughs> Madison Regional Champion. Lift it a little bit higher there. Get it above the mic. Represent <laughs> your brand. We are here with Igor Costa, winner of Madison Regionals in uh, an electrifying uh, and very quick and hard-hitting final match. Um, we're going to present you a little bit of glass here, your third one that you've earned this season. Jeff, take, take it away, my friend. I present you the 2018 Madison Regional Championship Trophy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well-earned, well-deserved. Walk us through the last turn of game two. So my last turn, um, I was trying to set up a board where if he Guzmas, he can't end me because my hand was really big and I didn't add Octillery because I pried one of my rim rates and we only play one on rim rate. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my plan. So that's why I set up the, bu the buzz wall and then attack, attacked with the lightning rock. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Attack with the lightning rock. So now he has to make a decision. Mm -hmm. he, he wants to kill my baby. No, I attacked with the baby buzz, so that was it. Yeah. And I had the buzz on the bench. Mm -hmm. And now he has to make a decision because our baby buzz has two strong energies mm -hmm. already. So yeah. it's almost uh, using swinging around. Even if I didn't got the the beast energy, mm -hmm. I could have still hit one head. Yeah, it, it there. So And that's what we're going for also until you drop yeah. <laughs> drop that disclaimer there on the, so on the board. So I set up like the checkmate play there and my two prizes were actually the choice band that I needed. Mm -hmm. I needed a choice band no matter what. The beast energy was just a plus because mm -hmm. Even I could have just hit the heads there. Yeah, but my two prizes was choice band DC, uh, beast energy. And I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going <laughs> right. to work. So if he doesn't end me, we're good. If he ends me, we just needed one energy. And like, uh, that's it. Because Buzzwell hits for 160 plus the 30 damage from Dancy and Reg Rock. 
yeah. we'll do it. We, we had we had two matches with you, top four, top top uh, top two, and both you had to pull incredible plays, taking the three prizes in game three uh, and top four, and then also now Beast Energy Choice Man uh, showing the power of your deck there. So uh, yeah. great merits for a great player. Uh, see you reaching your pocket. I think you got some shout-outs to go yeah, through, so we'll cut you loose on the mic here. Uh, so take it away, my man. So big shout-out to Chris Leandro for the deck list and for our team, Carta Magica. <laughs> we all basically play the same deck. Some of us did better, others did uh, worse. But the deck is really consistent. It was a really good list, and yeah. For the people at home, because I think uh, you guys are kind of uh, not new new players on the block, but uh, Carta Magica is definitely a fresh team on the block. Who else is on that team with you? So the team is uh, with six players for the moment. It's me, Jimmy Pendarvis, that made top 16, uh, Zul Garcia, and um, Zach Lesage. And then we have two juniors, Vori uh, and Aiden. Excellent. And you guys all played that deck today? Uh, no, or the juniors today? played something different than us. Yeah. Can't, can't help them out, can't prop up the juniors a little bit. i uh, got to feel a little bit for Will the Thrill, Willie the Kid, uh, falling a little bit short of uh, you know crushing your dreams of the three regional championships in one year. However, you come out on top, experienced player, seasoned, seasoned veteran, and just a great season overall. So what is the next tournament that you have on your docket? Uh, I definitely want to do an internationals to get that done. <laughs> yep. And I want to top the worlds again. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you miss being uh, just on top of everybody as you should be. You certainly earned it today. Um, we are going to cut you loose. Congratulations right. one more time. You did great. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we will be right back to do our close and shout out all the beautiful people that made today possible. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with uh, after a very successful match at TCG Regional here. Uh, seeing Ingra Costa take it away with the Buzz Rock deck that we're all very familiar with. We want to thank a few people for uh, for helping this event. You know, run as smooth as it did, uh, and you know we wouldn't be able to have this stream without a lot of these people here. So a few of our sponsors here: Ultimate Guard, Blasphemy Games, Poke Vault, uh, Dark Patch Coaching, and Top Cut Events. Absolutely, and of course, uh, you can't do it without the people in the background, uh, all the judge staff, all the volunteers, uh, yourself as a caster, Russell Lepar, Travis Nunlist, a uh, little pseudo shout out to myself. Um, on the TCG producing side, on the ones and twos, Purple Cliff, TCG streamer did a great job keeping us on point, sorting mm -hmm. out the equipment, and uh, our VGC streamers, Aaron Lukenbach, Justin Sommer, uh, who got to pack it up a little bit earlier than we did. I think they make it a little bit faster. We see heart sign, buzz wool sketch, and the letter A, so whatever that means, that's going out to you folks, and of course, a huge shout out to you all at home. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, you will see Jeff and I, Russ and Travis in the future at some of these events. However, however that shakes down, it was beautiful to be with you all weekend long, and we will send you on the rest of your day for your Sunday.